Hello, 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 hello. It's Alana from the channel Exposure Remedies. Um, okay, I renamed my channel earlier in the year. So I am back in to do a catch up on what I've been doing on my mental health journey since I last checked in. So I do have an overview up um called mental health matters i'll show you so i'll just go into share my screen and which is where i want to be talking from anyway so it's monday the 23rd of september uh nearly 11 a.m and i'm closing out sort of the uh winter season because we've just gone through the spring equinox equinox and I haven't put a video up, I don't think. I put a couple of shorts up, but I haven't really sat down and um, done an overview of what I've been doing. So on my Patreon, I'm doing heaps of stuff. I'm using Patreon as like a vlog, blog, um, information, sharing what I'm finding. Um, I'm There's a shop option now there too, so I'm putting stuff in there. I'm basically using Patreon as my website because it's easy um it's free to host because the percentages come out from members fees so unlike I was using Wix and um I looked into Squarespace and I've used Spotify for shop before but for what I'm doing and how I'm sharing and things it's just a really um easy website to use for that so it, it's easy to post from like I, it's really convenient and easy so that's important when I'm wanting to when I've got stuff on my mind that I'm wanting to share so anyway um I'm back home now I was going to do this at the at the coffee shop earlier but it was really busy for a Monday morning it is a beautiful morning it is actually an amazing beautiful morning so it's really nice to see that change in the air moving into the warmer seasons and I'm sorry I'm a little bit nasally still and I'm looking at myself I'm a bit nasally still just clearing out that um, I had a big physical purge with the lunar eclipse last week. So that is always amazing to clear out any energy that should not be in my systems. But today what I'm going to do is pick up from where I left off. So where I left off, I had done this mental health matters, this overview from the winter solstice. So I'll go and put the year in there at some stage, um, which overviews all the other videos in that playlist there, all the ones with the white thumbnails there, all the white thumbnails I had recorded, um, just to overview the overview, back in January, uh, May, March, April, around those times as I was moving through a lot of um, where my gut instinct was guiding me to go and how I wanted to um, move through these spaces and places um, to ensure the best optimal outcomes as you get through each place and the clearest sort of addressing causes and origins and issues and things. Um, I'm really done with all the band-aid solutions. So uh, it's taken a lot of work. I've had lots of amazing support around me, like so much support I, I could never have expected or wished or asked for. Um, spirit to guide me so well and just allow that to come through so I'm very 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 lucky and very appreciative for everyone um that's been there that's been there for me so it, it's amazing and it's, I'm now seeing a lot of it reflected in the reality too as I walk country so anyway what I'm talking about today is where I left off so where I left off is like I was I, I was really not wanting to take my um, prescribed psych medications. It's really difficult to sound convincing <laughs> and speak with conviction when I've got a block nose. So. Um, it is what it is. I can talk about it plenty if you've got any questions or you want to ask me anything specific. It's fine. I'm all good with that. It's just <laughs> you're going to have to move through that in your own self and trust. But anyway, you do your own thing on your own journey and, those medicines do have a place in therapy for certain reasons and certain things. So yeah, I'm in no way saying 
not to take anything or do anything. It's your journey. It's your story. This is my journey. This is my story. This is me following my own heart, um, guiding me to where the most optimal timeline was for me to be on. Safest for me, safest for my family, addressing and actually getting rid of suppressed trauma, uh, anomalies in my energy system, things that should not be there and all the stuff. Okay. So I left off with that and um, I was feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good and I was feeling pretty good at the time. It was diff like it was difficult and challenging, but I was sort of forging through and I had a whole sort of plan with um, supplements and I was doing a lot of research and things. So I went to the second last appointment with my psychologist I was seeing at the time and she put me on, they put me on, um, that's interesting, that's coming. They steered me in this sort of path. So I went and did this breathwork retreat. I came back from that just feeling absolutely amazing. It, it was a few days, three days, and it was back on the country I came through on that I was born on. So it was actually, um, the house was actually on the top of the beach that my mother walked with me while she was pregnant with me. So I was able to really physically go back to that beach as well as processing on the other um, subtle body layers as well and reintroduce myself to country um in that frequency I was on, on that day with uh, the type and the amount of healing I had done at that point in time. So fantastic, amazing, beautiful experience, all the things. Met a really interesting group of people I wouldn't have um, otherwise had sort of crossed paths, especially in the bush here. And beautiful instructor as well. So um, very interesting and amazing weekend and a lot of processing. Like I'm still, I'm, I think a part of this physical purge last week was still integrating a lot of that work that was done then. So um, that was in July. So that was in amongst all this stuff. So when I got back from that breathwork retreat, um, my psychologist brought up this SIRS, so this biotoxin illness. Um, so I'm just jumping back onto my Patreon now because what I then did from doing that overview here and leaving sort of um, just stepping away from that stuff I had done there, I then went on to Patreon and the two days after that, I just, or research, like went right into the hole, looked up so much stuff, found all these protocols, found all supplements, saw these like two distinct pathways that I could take. And one of them was like going to be like all this money um, and found some really, really great doctors and practitioners that have fantastic reputations and do a lot of great work. But even just to see one of them was $700 and like straight up before any kind of um guarantee of therapy or anything like that so it really pulled me back into my own um, confidence and empowerment and my own self-healing and my own ability to seek that information and treat myself as much as I can while balancing out the symptoms of potential psychosis okay so I was very aware of that and am very aware of that and knowing when and where to seek out who and what okay um yeah, so I'm just going to leave that there. Uh, <laughs> so I was looking at this path and I had got these blood works requests like from my psychologist and I just looked down this path and it was going to be thousands of dollars of blood tests and consults and therapies before even getting to a treatment or a supplement or anything like that. And so I researched so much, research tapes, and there's a lot of literature out out there now like it's 2024 and um Schumacher protocol came out oh late 70s I think 78 ish and there's been a lot of I think Huberman Andrew Huberman it's all in my stuff like I've kept and documented it all um for this reason because <laughs> there's so much so I went all down and I was like okay well I can do most of it myself so what I actually ended up doing was um just assuming that I sort of like have it and treating myself for it because definitely like I have got a metal plate in my body so there's already that potential to have that constant whatever that's doing to my blood circulation and body and stuff like that so I'm not going into that speculation now I'm just using it as an example to say that 
um, you know, no, I breathe this air and drink this water and eat the foods and do the things. So um, no doubt there's some level of toxins in my body. And given the my history with mental health, no doubt strong neurotoxic um, stuff going on as well. So tracking and chasing the cause and the origin and the root of where all this stuff's coming from and what's going on. I'm just going to pause this for a second. Again, where's my Zoom gone? Uh, oh. So, um, pull it back. So I, I, I just assumed that I had it. So, um, there's actually a website, a place in Australia where you can order your own, um, tests and what you want to do. And it goes through a practitioner, but you choose which and what, um, hormones and things and everything you want to test so I chose a bunch that covered all different parts of the protocol and I also went to my GP I was due for a heart health check as well so I got all just the standard um ones from the GP that you can get done so um they were fine I did notice a couple of things on the paperwork which was checking but anyway, they, they, were, they were otherwise fine and the only thing that came back out of everything that I got tested was low VIP, which is step 12 of the Schumacher protocol, if you followed that. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I've just jumped forward a bit. So wh why I've got Patreon up is when I left off from the last YouTube video I, I did, I started into this research and I just fi started finding so much stuff and trying to navigate that space um, on my own and then navigating a few things that had happened in the session that I was processing as well. Um, I started just blogging it and blogging it here. I had already started a Patreon back in March 2023 um, with this, I woke up like this, YouTube, my YouTube used to be, living with Alana, all that stuff. If you've been with me for a, couple, a few years now, I started in 2022, I think, and just starting to share my story in bits and pieces. And every time I share a bit more, something else comes up for me to work on. No problem. It's great. Um, it's fantastic feedback and where I need to um, go and address. Gee, my voice is terrible. So I had plonked some stuff up on there. So this was all before my hospitalisation. So it's quite interesting. And the reason I've left this stuff up there is because this is like what I was tuning into and what was coming through for me on a spiritual level. Um, so it's really interesting to, to have that feedback. Um, it's a bit crazy, but also a reflection of where I've been and how far I've come in. So then, okay, so 23rd of June, this is about the time I did the last lot of videos on YouTube. Um, so I started sharing things there. Great thumbnail. Bushwalking. So the bushwalking stuff I had started doing when I first got here, bushwalks in Alana and like working out um, how to share the medicine here and things. So that's just going back to that and definitely getting a run for my money with it. Pulling and panic healing. Um, so, oh, that there is it. A Andrew Heyman. Oh, not human, that's the other guy. Anyway, Andrew Heyman. So I started doing this. I went to the breathwork retreat mid-June, 16, 17, I think it was, came back 
and then launched into all this stuff. I just had to get it out and share. So this is all up on there. Um, and I'm not necessarily saying that to like go and become a member or anything. Do, do it if you want to. There's heaps of information up there and I'm happy to interact in the um, questions and comments and everything. It's easy for me to keep things in one spot. Okay. So that's something I've learned with um, my brain is I'm just managing it really easy. So I've got Patreon, I've got Instagram. I do a lot of stuff and put a lot of photos up there and I like sharing just a quick photo, whatever it's easy. And then I've got this YouTube channel as an extra, like it's a bit of a broader audience kind of thing. And I've, um, yeah, it's just another access. It's a public kind of access point, but in Patreon, I'm a lot more, um, I share sort of like things I notice and pick up and it's just my own analysis and things of what's going on around the place. And then anything I share like this, that I think is important. So definitely once I started looking into this biotoxin illness, um, so SIRS, chronic immune response syndrome or chronic inflammatory response syndrome. And there's another systemic inflammation response syndrome, I think as well. So when I started researching, it's not actually the first time I've been, um, not exposed, but well, maybe exposed, but introduced to this as a pharmacist working in coughs where there's lots of banana farms. Um, it's known, it's got the big banana, like it's known for that. Um, working there, I was working with a lot of people like ex-banana farmers that had um, gotten older now and lots of people that had moved to different areas like Sydney and on the beaches and moved to the area um, because it does have a really mild climate and with regards to asthma and things, it was really good. They did a lot of respiratory and cardiovascular studies out of the hospital there. So anyway, they that's where I first started to learn about Lyme's disease. So there's a whole thing on that I won't go much into now. Um, but as I was researching this and went into it, I joined into a few Facebook groups with like 40,000 people in it and just they all have all these like autoimmune diseases and things. So it, it's crazy, crazy stuff. So sharing information there, dumping information there. Uh, the heavy metal stuff I brought through, that's fully energetic clearing. Okay. So I did that, um, I think mid 2022 when there was, um, some movement around the place and I had help with um, some of the genetics I was clearing through at the time. So anyway, I'll just leave that there. It, it's in the Patreon stuff if you want it or just email me. Um, the blood cleansing protocol, I also started doing on myself, addressing the autoimmune, addressing it as an autoimmune thing. So I just started treating myself with all this stuff, um, assuming that there was some level of toxin in my systems. Okay, so physical, emotional, mental, spiritual fields in my whole bio field uh and then i was put, uh, so this is stuff that i've done from instagram um and the medicines that were coming forward and coming up from earth mother that she was providing very beautiful relationship um ginger and ginseng other things so this is all from my research what i was doing uh and then I started uh, bringing in the medical astrology as well. So that also then threw me into the astrology stuff more um, uh, seriously. Like it brought my attention to a lot of that. And I was also assessing um, mercury related uh, themes at the time. So, you know, still my own personal spiritual journey and things while I'm treating all the physical stuff. So videos, da, 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 da. So current detox homeopathy blood test. So I was just sharing as I went through. So we're up to July 5, integrated protocols. It's sorry, it's interesting going back to that and going, oh, where have I worked through all the stuff I've worked through? It's been interesting for sure. And what comes up for clearing and all the um, memories that get brought up again and where it took me and and because I also see energy healer as well. Z energy healers my main one and what was coming up in sessions with them too so it's really cool it's got to go and so the news so I started 
so my started making a lot of links but with more sort of clarity clear links um Tulsi was really like Tulsi yeah so these are just all how I went ahead with stuff so what I realized was um if you've seen the video I did on when I came off my antidepressant in 2018, the big realization I had with that was I had never in all my years in pharmacy and as nine years as a pharmacist, never had I considered the actual synthesis pathway of serotonin. And I had a whole lot of integrative um, blood tests and stuff done at that time too, to actually get that objective data, of what was going on in my body which never had been offered to me in the past and not that it's anyone else's fault it's just not something that's addressed uh, as commonplace in the mainstream system and probably because it's private there's no incentive to the business of the medical center or the salary of the um, gp to steer you in that direction basically and i'm saying yeah, it's really bad at the moment it's really really bad and it's it's it, it, it's not good like the direction that they some 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 the standard practice of what I'm seeing in general practice at the moment with mental health like it's not very good so anyway um thank goodness I've got the experience I've got and I'm very strong on the direction I'm going when it comes to uh managing my body because it's up to me really at the end of the day because everyone has their own things going on so the antidepressant video talked about the synthesis pathway of serotonin and lots of other neurotransmitters i've talked about their pathways as well with regards to the amino acids that are um, can help boost up making these as opposed to the drug so go and look at that stuff if you want more specifics about that i used that same protocol and principle when addressing vip and how to lift vip what's the precursor for that what's the synthesis pathway for activation of that peptide in my body because the other thing that happened was as well as the money um, side of things with that path i was put on the schumacher protocol step 12 the therapy for it but increasing and activating vasoactive intestinal intestinal peptide in the body is a synthetic peptide, um, which have a whole range. It, it's so messy. Like when I was researching it, it was just so thick and yuck and dense in there. So, and even to find a doctor that wants to prescribe it. And with the history I've got um, in pharmacy, and knowledge and especially working on the Gold Coast um there is a whole thing with that going on and sure enough there's been a lot of things coming out lately with some of these medications in the news so I'm not going to open up into that here if you want to talk about it for sure um message me or email me um but it was just interesting to see that come out so I just could like I didn't want to go that way I did not want that was not the way for me to go uh, it was not my path to go that way even if I did have the money to do that and start throwing just my and like the people that have done this like I really feel for it because um they te like the demographic that this tends to to sit with are people that can't afford to buy the freshest organic vegetables or afford to set up um their own orchards and stuff like that so it's yeah <laughs> when I was practicing this talk this morning there was so many threads and doors that were opening so I'm just trying to stay on the wrong track okay I am doing very well um it's big there's there's a lot and there's big stuff and there's a lot of people that need help so when you're in that field you can yeah it, yeah so I found a Chinese, I found one plant, Chinese plant that had Chinese medicine that has an activating constituent for VIP. The other thing that I found an actual research paper, I haven't analyzed the research paper. And so it's all well and good when people go evidence-based is evidence-based that, but you no one 
really need, knows how to, not many people really know how to analyze the data in the evidence and then also just read the bias. They always have to, um, supposed to claim what their bias is and like who they're employed by and what the bias is in the paper. So even just reading that can sometimes enlighten you. So anyway, I did evidence-based research as part of when I was studying my master's, that was a job I did as a subcontractor. I updated evidence, um, for a nursing database through one of the unis down south. So I became um, quite good at being able to look at a paper really well and determining what level of evidence that sat at. So anyway, there's a whole big thing, you know, with evidence and stuff like that. And these days in the spiritual field, anecdotal evidence goes a lot way, a long way. And then you you only you have your system and your body and your everything anyway. So a lot of it's your own journey anyway. So so <laughs> the Chinese herbs. So got that in and started working with that um, as well. I found a naturopathic doctor in Europe that works with the European biological medicine therapy. So very good. He's got a whole program thing going on um, and something I didn't um, have the money at the time to do either. So given that I've already done my own um, heaps and heaps of detoxification um, therapy and management and things, working through so many things on lots and lots of ways and levels, I um, just pick and chose which parts of the protocols I wanted to address and just assuming that I had to address everything as well. So I gave it a really good, good shot at that, all that stuff. So, um, and like the biological therapies I ordered in. So, and, and going like homeopathy, really strong, strong. Yes. Can be done with that for sure. I just couldn't go down there. Like I just couldn't stay on this peptide path. So I had to really stay natural herbs and all the things um, to see if it could be done really. See how and why the, yeah, I'll leave it there. So, okay, and I just kept, I just said what I was doing at the time, how I was managing it, how I was feeling. Um, great thumbnail there. And then, um, I'm a bit cheeky with some stuff going on. And where it was taking me, like things, where it was coming forward to me, what was coming up strong in my field. And I've uh, I've got I've been in lately this last month been in a lot of the astrology stuff, um, and working out how that kind of fits in. Um, okay, so up to today, new rules, and then I've just shared the playlist again on the thing there. So I'm clearing out um, the gut health, like I'm done with making that. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Thank you if you got this far. Um, Stop sharing there. I'm going to stop recording now. I don't think I actually stopped recording there before when I paused. Anyway, I think I only paused the screen share. Whatever. I've done really well to get this video out. I've been trying to do it all weekend and I just waited. My voice is better today. I am a lot better, but um, I'm just still a little bit in recovery mode. And what else? It's nice to have this shift and change in the air. I think that's it. So I just wanted to do this catch up. I just wanted to close out this winter period, open up spring, nice and fresh and new. We've got some new chick. We've got three new chicks that were born last week. And the garden's looking really good. All the birds are around. We've got some swallows eggs and we've got some plover eggs as well. And the willy wagtails often um, nest around the dam too. So we'll see what happens there. Got a few things happening for spring and summer. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to keep updating on Patreon because that's just easy. I can put, as you can see, I just can put easy, quick things in there. Instagram, I'm on too. I think that's it. I hope everyone's doing really well. They're the best they can do. And that's all you can ask for a lot of the time. Just do the best you can do. Uh yeah, I don't think, I don't know if, I think I've got the comments turned off on this. Um, so feel free to email me if you've got any questions or if you need any help or if you want like intensive guidance and stuff, just let me know and we'll work out um, 
how that might look or where you're at. I haven't got any like standard consults or anything that you can just book like that because I'm finding that people are so different with regards to what they're needing, but also what they're wanting to. So um, it's interesting when you start to form that connection with someone, how like I read the energy and stuff of what's going on and what I'm picking up on. So definitely moved out of psychosis into more psychic if there's a difference but with regards to safety of myself and safety of my family uh is established it essentially always was it was just other things happening to make me think it wasn't so very good I'm so grateful I'm so appreciative I've um I faced my fear of not being on the medications um because they, I was so much worse on them. Like I was so much worse. Yeah, they do certain things and turn off certain switches. And like the psychiatrist that prescribed them said, we want to keep you in a depressive state. But I to be that depressed all day from medication, just <sighs> since then I've pulled up all 40 years of dealing with what like wounding and stuff like that. I won't go into that now, but by addressing the demons that came up by not taking the medication because I was in a safe environment and held and supported with that I was able to do that you don't just do it <laughs> okay so I just go and do some of this stuff unless you know what you're doing like I have some really 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 amazing and fantastic support around me to really trust that I'm safe and held so um that is so important. It's so, so, so important and to be able to manoeuvre through this stuff. So, okay, I'll leave it there. Um, go and rest and go and, like, let some of this stuff continue to come out. I'll just go and check that my audio is okay because I think I've used a microphone today. I feel like there's something else, but I think it's just a nice closing out energy, close out the season move into the next season that's always exciting and like I put in my post there's new rules so I don't know what that's going to um, entail but it's pretty funny to see these things pop up into my awareness um, and just keep going so thank you if you got this far thank you for listening I appreciate you um, I appreciate all the support I appreciate all the trust in me as well it's quite phenomenal and it's lovely. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> new starts and new journeys. All good. Bye-bye.